my YouTube channel. For today's video is going to be another recipe video. This recipe is one of my family's favorites and it's also one of the first dishes I ever cooked for my in-laws and they loved it. It is pollo en salsa verde or chicken and green salsa. You can always omit the chicken for beef or pork, whatever your family enjoys. The point is just getting the sauce down and it's gonna turn out awesome. It's an easy dinner easy weeknight meal but that has such great flavor and also something that you can show off to your suegra like look i'd be cooking it up for your son you know that type of meal and i'm pairing mine up with some refried beans and also some mexican rice so depending on the time allowed on this video because you know youtube only gives me 15 minutes if i have enough time i'll throw in how i make my mexican rice but if not i'll do that in another video for you guys but i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button it lets me know that you guys enjoy these types of videos and let's go ahead and get right into the ingredients so for the ingredients i have some chicken and chicken leg and chicken thighs that i got at my local meat market we're going to need some onion cilantro some green calabacita which is just like mexican squash green tomatillos jalapeños and serranos if you want to make it a little bit more spicy some garlic cloves and for seasonings we have some bay leaves some oregano cumin seasoning salt garlic powder black pepper and onion. go ahead and season the meat with all these seasonings to let it marinate got my little apron on with frida Kahlo on it so we're gonna go ahead and season our meat i'm gonna start with some seasoning salt We're gonna start massaging in our seasonings into our chicken. Now that our chicken is nice and seasoned, we're just gonna set it aside for whenever we are ready. For whenever we're ready for it, we're going to be working on our salsa now. So I washed and rinsed all of my tomatillos. I'm going to be putting them in this pot with water so they can get to a boil. I'm gonna throw in my chiles. Garlic cloves. And I'm gonna bring this to a boil. For flavor, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a little bit of onion. I'm gonna start chopping up my zucchini. You can chop them up however you want. And also I'm going to start dicing up my onion. So what I'm doing is basically frying up the chicken 
I'm just frying up the chicken here. And I'm also covering it with the lid because I am cooking a lot of chicken tonight. So, um, because my husband's working and so is my father-in-law. So I'm probably going to have to give them dinner. So I have a few pieces of chicken here. And basically, we just want to cook it through, let it fry up a little bit so it can have more flavor. And we got our salsa going over here. So now that our chicken's been cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add in some diced onion. Yeah. Also going to add in two bay leaves. I'm just going to let it all cook together. You see my chicken's getting nice and fried up. And if you don't want to use chicken thighs, you can always use chicken breast, but this is going to have the most flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the calabacitas. To our chicken. Kind of let them get incorporated here. And here we can taste our chicken. Just to make sure the flavor is on point. It's good, but it needs a little bit more salt on my chicken. So I'm adding some salt. Okay, so I already blended the salsa, the tomatillos, the garlic, onion, all the jalapenos and serranos. And to season the salsa, to season, I added some caldo de blended it till smooth. I added the cilantro at the end so it could all blend together. Now that our chicken and calabacitas have been cooking for about five to 10 minutes. How much I added to mine. If you feel that it's a little thick, you can always add in some water. Just check the seasoning. Make sure it is tasting really good. Make sure it's tasting good. If you feel like it needs a little bit more seasoning, I would add in the um, chicken noir the chicken bouillon, and also add in a little bit more oregano. That's what I'm about to add right now. Water to mine just to thin out the broth just a little bit. I added a little bit more of oregano and some seasoning. The bay leaves, you can take them out in about 20 minutes. So we're just gonna let this come to a simmer. Here is our chicken with calabacitas, uh, guisado de pollo with Mexican rice and refried beans. I didn't get a chance to film the rice for you guys, but I will in the next video. You can serve this with tortillas, you can serve it with quesadillas. I'll be serving mine just like this.